Hi Cancer, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your September money, career and finance reading. I've already pulled your oracle cards. I'm nearly finished pulling your tarot. Spirit, can I have what's good in the outcome for Cancer, please? Money, career and finance. What's good in the outcome? What do they need to know? What will help them? Page of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Where it says in the upright. We got the Ace of Wands. Any more spirit? Any more? Uh, explain the Wheel of Fortune for me. Okay. We have the Five of Cups. Okay, Cancer, let's take a look at this. In your present energy, we only have one card, which is the Two of Pentacles. And so, um, Spirit, bring it forward. What's going on here with Cancer? It looks like you're going to have to, this is a time period, Cancer, where you're needing to take responsibility and be really cautious and conscientious about your beliefs and how you want to move forward. It looks like you are making a decision to move away from something. It's kind of like everybody's going in one direction. It shows here that there is... Um, turbulent times ahead if you go in a certain direction with a certain this feels like employment or business so it feels like something will be quite challenging if you move forward with it you're paying attention to red flags and you're trusting your gut instinct you're meditating and you're turning inward to discover what it is is your true desire I don't feel like this is a time for action for you I feel like you're weighing up your options and you're looking to understand because it feels like you've got mixed signals here or mixed situ situations you've got some red flags but then you've got other things like um yellow flags to bring you forward so there is a need to develop uh your wisdom and understand what your options are in order to be free and this is money career finance right it feels like it's all tied together for you it does feel like you are in solid ground right now and you know that and it feels as if if you move forward and this does feel like in a certain situation if you do move forward on it um you can you're very clear on how the path is going to be which is difficult choppy now in the strength position we have the so the high priestess has come out twice in your reading it's come out in the oracle and it's coming out in reverse in the strength position so it looks like what you're going to be doing is making quite logical decisions about and this is a strength of yours right now in this situation it feels like with your money your um you're pulling from a lot of different resources in order to uh, understand how to trust what is coming to you and to be able to utilize traditional methods perhaps that you've used in the past that have worked for you to be able to move forward in creating further financial abundance this is specifically finance this is a very strong finance reading um, I just want to go, Spirit is bringing me back to your present energy and they're telling me I didn't talk about your finances enough. So right here, Spirit is making me feel here that what you're weighing up is um, where you're going to bring money in. Spirit and, and here in the strength, Spirit shows me that you're going to do what you know rather than doing something that is when i say do what you know that there's different things that you can take advantage of but there's one thing in particular that you know how to really do very strongly and it does make you money so that is a logical decision rather than a gut instinct it's kind of like this proven thing that you do here in the ten of swords in the upright position it does feel like you're going to um, be observing others dealing with pain and conflict in their life and things coming to an end in their life. 
and it is I feel like you're gonna offer guidance and you're going to counsel those around you that might be wary and worn out um, I do feel like you're going to stay, take a step, a step back from other people's problems and drama. And it does feel like what you're going to do is stay in the space that makes you happy and um, not necessarily doing what is needed or expected of you from others, but really um, understanding the bigger picture here and moving forward in abundance in a financial way that makes sense to you. Because at the end of the day, what you're looking for is financial freedom. And I feel here that um, you're really serious about it and it will bring you, you know which way your happiness lies and that's in the financial freedom. It's not necessarily working in something that's going to bring you a lot of fat satisfaction because the other things do bring you satisfaction too. So I feel like you're going to, um, I do feel like here in the strength position, people are going to try and encourage you to go in a different direction. But if you're very powerful in what you want and knowing what you want and what's going to make you happy here in the sun card. So I feel very strong in your energy that that's what you're going to do is just trust uh, what has made you money before and move forward in that direction. Here in the challenge energy, again, this has to do with work or a job. It does feel like you're still in the same situation. It does feel like here with the judgment card, the three of swords in the in the upright, the eight of pentacles in the reverse and the seven of wands in the upright. It does feel like what's challenging are the people around you. There's a lot of casualties of war, if you will, around you. A lot of people suffering around you and a lot of people um, needing your help. But due to the fact that you're trying to help them to gain wisdom or understanding in some way to help them sort out their own situation. So there's I feel like you're going to be working very hard. That is a challenge. I feel like people are going to be pulling upon you and um it's going to lead to some stress and you're going to have to manage that it does feel like others are willing to help you so i would suggest that you um you allow them even if it's a, a lending ear that they want to listen to what is bothering you um or the load that you can't carry so i do feel here in the challenge energy it's going to be able to actively you know, express what it is that is bothering you, not so people can solve it, but just so kind of like a burden shared is a burden halved. But the challenge is not in money. The challenge for this month is people around you and the stress around you. Here in the outcome, it looks like you're, um, you're releasing uh, everything that you can't control. Here in the Page of Pentacles, it's going to be endings that lead to new beginnings. So I feel like you're going to move forward quite strongly. Spirit is drawing me back again. This, this card is very, very strong in your energy. The two of pentacles. It, by the end of the month, if not sooner, spirit makes me feel like you're going to stay on solid ground. You're not going to follow the crowd. You're not going to follow what's expected of you. But it is a p important, Cancer, that you go through the process yourself rather than just kind of like listening to a tarot reading and let letting that validate the direction you're going in i think what it what what you're supposed to do is put in the work and understand and allow continue to be the observer in that situation and um so when you do make the decision to go in another direction it's with both you know both feet forward right rather than one step in doubt and one step kind of still processing what you should do so it does feel here like um, there's going to be generosity coming your way. And it does. And, and I feel like you're going to be generous with your time, with your energy, with abundance, with money. You're going to have money. You're going to have disposable income uh, is what it feels like here. It does feel like you're uh, releasing situations that hold you back. And again, this is coming from the challenge energy where you know some people are crying over spilt milk around you and you know it 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 draws your you know so i still feel maybe if this is a work situation you're still going to be in it in the month of september but i do feel like you're not um I don't know you're aware of it but i don't feel like you're going to focus on it that much even though it's going to 
you know, involve some very conflicting situations as you move forward. But it, it almost motivates you to move forward here in the Wheel of Fortune in the upright into a new cycle, much more solid, where you're not relying on others, where you're not relying on, like, I feel like this is business, right? Because or, or some type of investment that you're doing where you've gained mastery over it. I feel like this is a new cycle in your life where you're going to be very, very convicted in, you know, like how you would dedicate time, let's say 40 hours a week to a job. I feel almost here in the Wheel of Fortune, you're gonna dedicate 48 hours to investment ideas and situations and growing that. So you're putting in a lot of energy and time into understanding what you're doing to create the abundance and freedom that you want. As a result, we have a passionate new beginning. I do feel like there's a new energized beginning here with you. Um, in money, career and finance, I do feel like it's going to produce a lot of passionate energy uh, in doing something brand new. And even though this feels like something that's proven and you've done it before, the way you're doing it now is slightly different in that it, you're looking at it as your base income rather than a stream of income in a, maybe a wheelhouse of multiple incomes. So spirit shows me here that your um, what's happening is uh, quite interesting because you're making it the forefront of how you how you bring in money now, and with that the sky is the limit, right? So this is not a limitation as far as work. This is something. This again feels like investment. So you you you've learned how to over a long period of time you've learned how to make this a, a success and. While it's been kind of like a passive stream of income now and again, or, or just kind of there, it does show here very, very strongly that you're going to go into that energy um, and embrace that and uh, it really enjoy it is what I see here too with the Ace of Wands. Spirit um, also makes me feel here that you're going to be very conscious and responsible for the decisions that you're making because um, I feel like here as you're watching others kind of like tie themselves up into knots, you're also kind of looking at that thinking, well, you know, if I continue to go down this route that I'm going on, all I'm doing is getting wrapped up in other people's stuff rather than focusing on what makes me happy. So the focus is in moving in a direction that makes you happy and not really too concerned about what others you know, like, like it doesn't matter whether you're in your, in, in their life or not. There's always drama around certain people. There's always chaos around certain people because of the life choices that they make. And I feel like, you know, you know that they'll be okay. And so you kind of move forward in your own direction. Cancer, that is your reading. I hope it helps and I will speak to you soon.